All right, several of you have asked me if the GWISIT editor can be used to run or simulate macro B programs. And so I've put together a little sample program where I'm programming a part family of four different parts that range from uh, lengths of two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight inches. And I'm going to drill a hole in the center of each part. And so I'm just going to go over the structure of the program. Now there is several ways you can do this and this is strictly as an example and just to show you that GWizard is capable of actually using the variables and simulate the toolpaths for you. So at the top of the program we're going to put a comment saying that we're going to load a four digit part number on the variable 500 line which sits right here okay so you can see the four different part numbers right here 1234-1 1235-1 1236-1 1, and then 1237-1 okay so the instruction right next to each part number is enter that part number in variable 500 so right now we have loaded the first part number 1234 and so what it does on the very next line it says go to number 500 now 500 is now loaded with one two three four so what it does number 500 represents one two three four so it's looking for n one two three four so it's looking for these variables right in this section here so you can see this is part number one two three four dash oh one number 100 variable is now loaded with two inch on the length one inch on the width in variable 101 then variable number 102 is 100 divided by 2 and variable number 103 is 101 divided by 2 okay so now once all the 100 101 102 and 103 variables are loaded we go to 100 and 100 is looking for n100 so now we get into our tool path and in the tool path for the x value we're using the variables 100 and 101 it's going to run that toolpath and then followed by a drill operation where we're also using the variables that were loaded the 102 and the 103 and that is going to drill the hole right in the center of the part okay so let's go back to the top of the program we're going to rewind and we're just going to watch it run so now it's loading then it jumps to n100 now watch the tool paths appear so there's our rectangle and then we're going to drill right in the middle so that is the part that is two inches long and one inch wide you can see each square represents an inch of course we're using a half inch animal so we're offset a quarter inch all around all right so let's drag this down and let's change the variable for the next part number so what we need to do is stop the program so we can place our cursor I'm gonna back up and the next part number is gonna be one two three five then we rewind back to the top drag this down and now I'm going to single block through the program and we're gonna watch each line and see what happens at each line okay so we're just going three instructions now it's loading variable number 500 with part number one two three five then the next line it says okay now go to 500 but 500 represents one two three five so what does it do it's looking for n one two three five so watch it jump and find that n one two three five it's going to load the variables 100, 101, 102, and 103. And then it says go to 100. So now it's looking for N100. So it's going to jump down into the geometry section or toolpath section. And we should see our toolpath update based on the new sizes that were loaded into the variables. So you can see we got a part that is four inches long and two inches wide then the next operation is going to do the drilling and the variables 102 and 103 are loaded to divide the length and the width in two and so therefore the hole ends up in the middle of the part 
and then we do ETM30 and we'll go back to the top of the program. So we'll do it one more time. We're going to stop, place our cursor next to the variable. We're going to load part number 1237. We're going to rewind. I'm going to drag this down. We're single blocking. Back to the top of the program and let's go through it. So we load 500 with 1237, go to 500, so now it looks for N1237, loads the variables, it's going to be an 8 inch long part, then it jumps to N100. So at this time our toolpath is going to be off the screen, so we're going to roll our center button, mouse button, and we're going to complete the part and then go to the drill op and it should put that hole right in the center. And so it did. So I'm going to leave a copy of this program down in the comment section below so that you can copy and paste this into your simulator. If you don't have the simulator, I'm going to also leave you a link where you can download this software and play with it for free for 30 days and I think after that it's like a hundred bucks for a year or you can own it for a lifetime for 300 bucks so I hope that helps you thanks for watching